So the fourth series is Percy Jackson and the Olympians by Rick Riordan. Um, and obviously it's about Percy Jackson. And I'm sure most of you guys already know what these books are about. I have them ordered, so yeah. So the first book is The Lightning Thief. And basically this is a blurb. Percy Jackson is about to be kicked out of boarding school again. And that's the last of it, the least of his troubles. Lately mythological monsters and the gods of Mount Olympus seem to be waking straight out of the walking straight out of the pages of Percy's Greek mythology textbooks and into his life. And worse, he's anchored a few of them. This is master Lightning Bolt has been stolen, and Percy is the prime sub suspect. And then there's one more um, paragraph, sorry guys, but I'm not going to finish reading it. And it's really interesting. It's a really good book and a really good series. And the next one is The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Course, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and finally, The Last Olympian. So these books are really good, and I highly recommend them. Um, it's just really cool to learn about Greek mythology with twists and to actually get to know, like, the characters behind it. And, yeah. That is the Forest series. The third series is by Rick Reardon, and it's The Trials of Apollo. Apollo is, um, God. And he gets turned into a mortal as a punishment for something that technically wasn't his fault. But it ends up being really good for him and just really good in general. So I really like these books. And yeah. So the book one is called The Hidden Oracle. Book two, The Dog Prophecy. Book three, The Burning Maze. Book four, The Tyrant's Tome. And book five is The Tower of Nero. And yeah, these books are really good. I highly suggest them. And yeah, on to the next series. The second book series is the books, or <laughs> The Heroes of Olympus. And book one is The Lost Hero. Again, by Rick Reardon. I don't know why I said that weird. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is basically... Like, you should really, really read um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians before reading this. Because Percy and Annabeth and, all the, and like, a lot of the other characters are in this. But the f seven main characters are Percy Jackson, Annabeth. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Um, Hazel, Leo, Frank, and Piper. Oh, wait. Oh, and Jason. And then there are a lot of other characters that show up quite frequently. Um, but, yeah. Like, Reyna shows up frequently in this. Chiron, Chiron, Chiron's kind of frequent, frequently. Tyson's in it quite a bit. And Nico. So, yeah. The next one's the son of Neptune. The Mark of Athena is the third, the House of Hades is the fourth, and The Blood of Olympus is the final and fifth book. So yeah, I highly recommend that series. The fourth book series that I am recommending is um, The King Chronicles. This is the complete series that I have. There are three books in the series, and it's also by Rick Reardon. If you couldn't tell, he's probably my favorite author. And so, it's bugging me. Okay. And so, yeah. So basically, this is about Carter Kane and A.D. Kane. Um, and basically, this one's about Egyptian gods. I forgot to mention the last one. Or, no. Um, the Heroes of Olympus one actually had roman demigods and greek demigods this one's egyptians and magicians and stuff so basically it's quite similar to the other books but it's a completely different mythology and they're not like demigods or anything 
they are magicians and followers of the god basically and book one is the red pyramid book two is a throne of fire and book three the final book is a short serpent's shadow i think i said that wrong but yeah um highly recommend these books as well i didn't like them as much as the others but they were still really good so yeah this book series is the land of stories i loved these books guys these were so good i didn't put them down i read each of them in like a day so that's how much i like these books and i really recommend them they were in by chris colfer and they are super good so the first one the wishing spell and Alex and Connor Bailey's world is about to change. When the twins' grandmother gives them a treasured fairy tale book, they have no idea they're about to enter a land beyond all imagining. The land of stories where fairy tales are real. So if you couldn't already tell, Alex and Connor are um, brother and sister. Well, pretty sure, it already, yeah, I'd already said that, but um, like they're two brothers, they're brother and sister, I believe, well, obviously they're twins i'm sorry <laughs> but um these books are super super good and they basically go into the fairy tale world and a lot happens like a lot a lot a lot and it kind of just it's really fun it's kind of interest or it's interesting it's very adventurous and it just is overall a really good book so this is the first one the wishing spell the second is the enchantress returns the third is a grim morning yeah the third the fourth is beyond the kingdoms the fifth is an author's odyssey odyssey yeah okay and yeah thank you guys for watching this video remember to like subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you're notified every time i post a new video